So you want to use all these fancy AI models like GPT, Gemini, Claude, DeepSeek, and other hundreds of models, but don't want to pay for it? Well, lucky for you, I have a solution. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Open Router, how it works, how to access popular AI models for free, and how you can use that in your project. So, what exactly is Open Router? Think of it like a single gateway that lets you connect to multiple AI models all from one place. Normally, if you wanted to use these models, let's suppose the GPT model. You would first create an account, choose the API key plan, get the key, and only then you can use it in your application. You cannot call other model with that API, only it works for GPT. Open Router solves that problem. It gives you one unified API that works across all models, so you can easily switch between them just by changing the model name in your code. And the best part is it's completely free. It's super useful if you're building AI-powered apps without paying a single dollar. So now, let's see how you can actually use this. This is the home page of the Open Router website. By the way, Open Router offers both free and paid models. If you want to go with a paid version, that's totally fine, but the process of using the API is exactly the same. First, you need to log in using your preferred method. After logging in, go to the Models tab. This is where you'll see all the available AI models. There are tons of models listed here, but don't get overwhelmed. For now, focus on the left side of the page. That's the filter section. Let's say we only want to see free models. To do that, scroll to the prompt pricing filter and set it to zero. As you can see, now only the free AI models are shown. You'll know a model is free when you see free written in its title. Now, let's say you don't want to use a random free model. You want something specific like GPT or Claude. In that case, go to the Series tab and you'll see all the model families available like GPT, Claude, DeepSeek, Mistral, Gemini, and many others. Suppose you want to use DeepSeek, just select it and you'll see all the available DeepSeek models appear on the right. Next, there's the Input and Output Modalities filter. This basically means what type of input or output your model supports. For example, if you want a model that can handle images, you can enable the image option, and the same goes for output. For now, you can just focus on these basic filters to get started. You can always explore the others later. Now, let's try using this Gemini model. The first thing you'll need is an API key. To create one, go to your profile, click on Keys, and this is where you'll manage all your API keys. Click on Create New API Key, give it a name, and you can leave the credit limit and reset limit options as they are. Once you click Create, your API key will appear. Make sure to copy it right away because you won't be able to view it again later. Now that you have your API key, go to your desired model. For example, the Gemini model. Here you'll find detailed information about the model, like its context length, provider, and capabilities. You can scroll through that if you want. To use the model, scroll down to the Quick Start section. You don't need to click Create API Key, since you already have one. Below, you'll see sample code showing exactly how to call this model through the API. You can copy that and start integrating it into your project right away. For this demonstration, I'll be using Python. I'll copy the sample code from Open Router and paste it into my code editor. After that, make sure to update the authorization header. Just replace the placeholder with your actual API key. You'll also notice there's a model option in the code. This is where you define which model you want to call. Right now, we're using Gemini, but if you want to switch to a different model later, just change this value. You don't need a new API key. In this demo code, the model is analyzing an image. Let's quickly check what the image looks like. Okay, now let's run the code and see what the model thinks about it. Let's wait a moment. And there we go, we got a response. I know it looks a bit messy in the terminal, but that's normal for raw JSON output. If you look closely, you can see the response content here, and the description it gave is actually pretty accurate. Now let's try something different. I'll switch to another model. Let's pick this one and ask a different question. As I mentioned earlier, we only need to change the model name in the code. Everything else stays the same. For now, let's also change the message. Now let's run it again. 
And here's our new answer. Just like before, it's a bit cluttered in the terminal, but it's definitely working. And that's the response generated by our new model. So yeah, that's it. This is how you can use AI models for free within two minutes. Now you have the tool. How much creative you can get with these model is in your hands. So good luck with that. This is a great tool if you want to build something using AI for your resume or some project for you college without paying any money. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.